Hey guys, Hal here. Uh, this is a quick video to show off uh, some of the new stuff that's been added to the editor. So now you can uh, find the extra editors in this little drop down here. You've got an entity editor, an entity group editor, and a loot editor. For this video, we're going to be looking at the entity editor. And what we're going to do is we're going to make a new fat zombie, but one that runs during the day and at night too. Uh, just to add in a bit more randomness. So click on an entity to view all its stats. You can see all the stats here. And um, what we're going to do is right click, go to clone entity, and give it the name of fat zombie feral. So click on that. And what we want to do is change the approach speed property. And we're just going to increase that to 0.75. Same as its night approach speed. So that's where it gets its run value from. So now that's done, you just click File, Save Entity XML. And to add it into the list of uh, stuff that gets spawned in the game, we need to do one extra thing, which is look at the entity groups and find the one for zombies all. Once that's up, click add item and then it adds one at the top here. Just click on it and right at the bottom here you'll see the new one. So save that XML and start up the game. So we'll start a new one. We'll split the spawn into very high. And then we'll go see if we can find one. Mm, there's one there. Now is he feral? No. Ah, but this guy is. So you see, running in the daytime. And another. So there we go guys, new zombie in the game, cheers.